Before we start this video, I just want to clarify a little. These hotels that I'm about to review, they are not sponsored or endorsed by any means. Uh, they, are, they are actually comprehensive reviews of the hotel that I've stayed in the past 7 days in Ho Chi Minh City. So on certain booking websites, they may not be a 4 stars. But because of their service or because of their amenities, they actually deserve to be called 4 stars. Hours and hours of research was done online to determine the best hotel under $50. This includes hotels that are close to downtown and close to the airport. So let's begin with Citytel Parkview Saigon Hotel. And by the way, they are not in any particular order. Upon reaching the entrance of Citytel Parkview Saigon Hotel by taxi, I was faced by a flight of stairs. One of the concert attendants actually assisted me with my 30-inch luggage. And while sorting out with the you know, admins at the front desk, I was told that I booked the wrong date. Ah oh, man, but they actually went an extra amount to contact the admins and make the stay possible despite that the fault was on me. So really, kudos for that. Unlike other 3 stars hotel, Seat Hell Park View Saigon Hotel actually serves you a welcome drink, has a concierge attendant to bring your luggage to your room, and instead of figuring out how to use the facilities, they guided me on how to use the safe box, the aircon, so on and so forth. And so far, it has been really warm welcome and as I mentioned previously I made an error on my end but I've already paid for the room that I was expecting to settle in they upgraded me to a fourth floor which allowed me to have an overview of the park but it can get a little noisy during the peak hours due to the main road bed was comfortable pillows were fluffy had a really good night's sleep the floors are clean and breakfast was no a wide range of things What sets apart from this hotel compared to the rest of the hotel? Number one, once you enter the main entrance, there's actually a really pleasant fragrance. Number two, in the room, there's actually a telephone that connects you to the concierge team. And number three is that really important communication. The staffs actually have a moderate to high level of understanding English. Communication is really important. Once you screw up communication, that's it. That's it, there's a language barrier. Moving on, wow, this hotel does have a ramp and instead of pushing my luggage upwards, I did it without any effort. Met a couple of concert attendants at the first floor and to check in, I have to head to level 9. When I heard that, I was amazed that the reception is on a higher ground. Usually it's on the first floor, right? Did the usual check-in process, the welcome drink was just plain water but with a very unique design on the bottle and I thought that was it. But along with that, I will serve a passion fruit yogurt. They then briefed me about the snack bar and they said that I could have everything here for free. Do you know how happy I was when I heard that because almost every freaking hotel that I've been to says that you know, something is chargeable and they even have a hot dog machine. This includes soft drinks, milk and even a couple options for alcohol. Are you kidding me? The washing machine and the dryer, I could use it for free. I was up to the sky when I heard that because I really had a hard time washing and drying my clothes at different hotels. I finally received my room card because I checked in early but honestly, I do not mind waiting even longer. The room that I booked was called The Small Nest and is just right on $50. Upon opening my room's door, there was a pleasant fragrance. I'm staying on the 7th floor of the hotel facing the main route. So far, the cars on the main route doesn't affect my night much. By looking at the bed without laying on it, it already gives a sense of comfort and the design of the room matches exactly what it's being called, the Hammock Hotel Fine Arts Museum. The hotel is near Ho Chi Minh City Museum of Fine Arts and there are tall skyscrapers around the hotel so I believe it's situated in the heart of District 1 but still has local visits such as the Benten Market. Do not expect to have a buffet breakfast in this hotel, but the breakfast is made to order. I ordered omelette with toast and they made it right with the insides of the omelette still a little runny. Mm, my favourite. Well, it's pretty self-explanatory what sets apart from this hotel compared to the rest. We have got food in the room and aside from that, we have got free flow snacks, free flow alcohol up in the snack bar. We have a rooftop area to take a look at the view of the city since we are at the heart of Saigon. And the list just goes on and on and on and on and on. And on. <laughs> Now at Urban Lodge Hotel located in downtown Saigon and it's situated in Farm Nu Lao backpacker area. First thing first, we ran into a little difficulty finding the hotel as it's not along the main road. 
Check-in was speedy and I was also briefed where to have breakfast the next morning and where I could have my lunch later. I was given a number of vouchers, a 50% spa voucher and a 20% discount for all spa services by the beautiful Saigon Spa. Along with that, a 1 for 1 beer voucher and free spring rolls together with a 10% off food bill by the Oasis Garden Pool and Restaurant. I ordered the seafood with mushroom clay pot rice during lunch for 119 Vietnam Dong and mmm. I must say it's one of the most delicious clay pot rice I have ever eaten. Unfortunately, this hotel doesn't have a leaf but thankfully been the concert staff which also processed my check-in actually helped me with my 30-inch luggage not only during check-in but check-out as well. From the exterior of Urban Lodge Hotel, it looks plain and ordinary but I must say it carries one of the most fancy decor among the rest of the hotels around the area. Not only stylish but it also brings out colours where it should. For breakfast, they do have a wide range of food which includes fresh cut fruits, ham, sushi, if you would like something hot to start your day, they even have fish noodles. I'm a coffee lover and I definitely can taste that they do not use cheap beans. Under $50, I was able to book an urban room and the size of the room felt a little cramped but the deck of the hotel really just sets apart from the rest. Quality or quantity, you decide. So again, what sets apart from this hotel is despite its small alley, it has some fancy decor throughout the hotel. Multiple coupons and discount vouchers were given and does not has an expiry date. Wow, so which means you can use it days later. And most importantly for me, a great coffee really does make your day better. Moving on to Royal Dragon Boutique Hotel, also known as Hong Leong Hotel. This hotel is 11 minutes away drive from the airport. The appearance of the hotel appears to be newly furnished and modern looking which is really pleasant to look at. The overall comfort was great however, during the first night when I checked in to the first level of the hotel, the noise pollution from the neighbourhood could be a thing. But the staff was quick to move me to another room although the communication between the staffs and the guests needs to be improved as they move all of my belongings without my consent. The cleanliness of the floor could be improved as it feels oily, however during checkout I did saw the cleanliness mop the floor. It could be due to the material of the floor but anyway slippers were provided. It is close to a supermarket, 24 hours convenience store and a couple of seafood restaurants. What sets apart from the rest of the hotel is that the rooms are bright and nice from the sunlight during the day. The design of both the room and the entire hotel looks well furnished and modernized. Not only that, I may even say that this has to be the best looking hotel close to the airport. Finally, I wasn't able to book this hotel due to its extreme high demand. Uh, the name of the hotel is called Chill Suites. I strongly believe that um, there is something great about this hotel that causes it to be booked so quickly. So right there, I'd just like to give a quick shout. If you have stayed in Chill Suites Saigon Hotel before, let us know in the comment section below. Share with us the experience with them and who knows, in the future, I might just stay in the hotel when I'm back. So even hours and hours of research to look at those iBags, I could still miss out some of the greatest hotels under $50 to stay in Saigon. So leave a comment down below if you have any recommendations or if you have any hotels that you would highly recommend and I might just make a part 2 of it. See ya!